welcome back to global oak media and today we're going to be looking at another video um, and this is going to be on how you can add 3d elements into live footage now you can do this with a moving shot or a static shot but today we are going to use it on a static shot this means that it's a shot that was probably captured on a tripod and the, you know there's minimal movement in this it so the video that we're going to use and we're going to put a very nice car just parked right around this space so first things you want to do is once you have your uh, your video is take a screenshot uh so that you have an image you know just that first uh that first frame then once you have that all you want to do is drag it into your fspy now fspy for those of you who don't know is a it's a it's a free uh it's a free program that allows you to get the perspective of you know whichever camera you're using by aligning your x-axis and your y-axis and you can also change it and use your z you know access just so you can get a nice plane where your uh your 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 3d element is going to sit so we are going to use actually because i did do this before i believe i used the the y and the z uh you bring this down here you can press shift just so you can zoom in and you know try to get it uh as as accurate as you possibly can so just align this to you know something like that then you can take the other z and we can say let's use this part of this wall move this to the to the top of that uh, then we can use our y with our y let's use the edge of this building right here so we can just take this y and I'm pressing shift so that it zooms in by the way and put it somewhere here and then uh, where else can we use our Y I'm trying to see where I used it uh, okay well maybe perhaps we can use uh, well this end let's see what happens if we use this something like this might just work so something like that and you get this this gizmo right here so this is where your vanishing point is going to be and as you can see it sits you know flat on 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 you know on the floor you can you can use even a box if you want see how that would fit you can use uh you know your 3d grid your 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 x your x y grid and you can see you know where that is going to sit so once you do this all you want to do is press control save and save your f uh, your f uh, fy file because it's that file that we're going to bring into blender okay, so right here we're in blender 4.0 so once you have uh, your blender open you just want to press a and delete everything then you you want to go to file import and then f spy and then you want to go and locate where you saved your f spy uh you know your s spy file that you that you recorded okay so once you're in blender and you've located where you saved your fspy file all you want to do is go to file import uh then fspy and then go to where you saved the file and open that and when you do this is what you'll see and this is basically that frame or the angle that that camera was facing and now what this does it, it it is it allows us to now place whatever we want within this frame uh render out the shadow the shadow capture with our 3d element and then we'll go laser and composite it in after effects as you can see if you move outside of that camera there is nothing completely nothing there because the only way you'll be able to see it is if you see it through the f spy camera I just pressed O to jump back to that and so now we have this and so the first thing you want to do is press shift A 
come back here shift a and you add mesh and add a plane so this is what will be our shadow catching you can scale it up and move it around and make sure it covers you know you seen i did it and so this you you end up with something you know similar to this so this is our plane this is what's going to be our uh, shadow catcher now make sure you're in cycles then you go to objects scroll down go to visibility and you want to make sure that shadow catcher is marked on in the in the masks property this means that it won't show up on our render but it will uh, allow us to catch shadows onto it it is you know those shadows that help sell the whole illusion and ensure that when 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 anyone sees you know your cg or the cg car that you've added there it doesn't look like it's floating through the air so once that is done you want to go ahead and add in your 3d model in this case it's a car so you can go to sketchfab or you know cg trader and find yourself a nice free car that you can use i have you know this mercedes that's you know i like and i i imported it all i did was scale it up by you know selecting it uh you can select it press s to scale and you can scale it up however you want you can press g uh press g to move it on the y or on the x and place it where you deem fit where you deem you know fit where you want it to be uh mine i want mine to be you know there and then you can go to material preview just to see just to make sure that everything you know looks right and then uh once you go to your rendered preview this is where now you can start doing your lighting so i uh, just let that render out you can reduce the amount of samples when you go to render properties you can reduce the amount of samples right here uh but make sure that well uh the ones you uh, when, when when you're about to export you move that sample count up because this is what sells the whole illusion as you can see our plane it's there but it's not really visible because we have it set as a shadow culture and that is where the shadow uh is landing on and that is just you know helping to sell the whole effect so once this is done you want to go ahead and you export you know this frame which once you do if you go to render and you render image this is just a quick way of doing this you can go to composite and then walk over there but i'm just going to make this a quick you know quick thing so just hit render and once this and what what essentially this does it is it renders your 3d image without uh with without the f spy camera without the you know the f spy and then the background and all of that oh I, the only thing i didn't mention that you have to do is make sure that your environment uh, you know uh matches because you can see we have reflections over here and you want to make sure that uh whenever someone is looking at you they can actually believe that it uh it is in the environment that you're trying to tell them it is in so one way of doing that is you can go to uh, sites that have hdris the load uh, hdri and when you go to your world settings you can set up your hdri which will act not just as the lighting but also as you know something that your reflective surfaces can you know get their images or get those reflections from so once this is done uh, you all you have to do is jump into after effects and this is where now we composite our cg and our you know our real life footage so go to your project double click uh find your find your footage open that uh drag it into a new composition and then find your uh your image your you know that single frame I, I i just exported a single frame but you can also go back and you know thanks to add-ons like the rigger car you can animate your car and make it uh you know make it seem like it's moving from one point of the video to the other but for this example we're just going to use one frame and already you can see how good that looks 
and you know if you play this or if you preview this you can see everything else is moving around the car and this kind of helps sell the effect that it's actually in this position so what, what once you have this what you want to do is put a curves layer on on this image and then put a lumetri and blur it just a little bit just to help it sink in with the environment and once you've done your color grade and the, the final color grade on your video you'll have something like you saw in the beginning of this video so okay so that's the end of the tutorial for today make sure you leave you know a comment a like uh subscribe to the channel and in case i missed anything make sure to let me know on the comment section tell me what you want me to do next and i'll see you on the next uh on the next video